I don't want to be rude. Excuse me, sir. May I just plug in? I'm terribly sorry, but I'm in a haste. Uh, uh, four children and a dog, single to Penzance, please. Terribly sorry, I'll be. Thank you. Very kind. And once again, I apologize. Thank you very much. All right, children, here's a map and the tickets. Now, I've marked the way down to the farm. It's Mrs. Pinroof. All right. All right, take care. Thank you. Drive carefully. See you down there. Yeah, have a good drive right. yourself. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, I really get to enjoy this holiday. Yeah, the train never gets here. Oh, where's the train? I want to get going. Don't be impatient. At last. Right, you get the seats and I'll put the bikes in the guard's van. Children, remember your highway code. Okay. We will. We will. Bye bye. the life. You know, George, this year ought to do your hay fever a lot of good. <coughs> I hope so. I think I'm going to like staying with the pen Rufflin. By three Paul and pen, you may know the Cornish men. And no matter where we roam, that is still an awful poem. Hello, How there. nice to see you. And you. Well, <laughs> oh, dear, I've Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, where be the children? They'll be here a little later. In any case, you'll hear them when they ah. come. <laughs> okay. I'll get the bags oh, out. Dear, I'm so sorry. It's I... all right, dear. Isn't it fantastic? It's really great. Oh, I love the swing. Let's go in now. Yes, let's. Look, come over on. there. A boy. I hope he knows the tide's coming in. If he's not careful, he'll be washed away. He'll be drowned. Children won't be bored here. There isn't much going on around the farm. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh. 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 Oh, dear. Be kind of you. <laughs> Bit of peace and quiet won't do them any harm. <laughs> Where are you, Dad? Oh, oh, help! Girls! Manners! Oh, help! There's a boy drowning! He was carried off by the tide. What are you talking about? Where? At the cove. Oh, yes? What does that look like? George, look! It's him! Oh, yeah? I'd like you to meet the Kirians. Hello. Hello there. Now, would someone please explain what's going on? We were trying to save that boy. Jan don't need saving. I knows his way around these coves blindfolded. I was born in these parts. Where are the boys? Oh, I forgot. We left them on the beach trying to save Jan. 
You're here. How did you get here? We thought you drowned. So I'm off to a conference for a few days. You two, until then, stay out of mischief, would you please? And not too many Cornish pasties. All right? Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Go to the cove. We could meet the boys there. I wouldn't if I were you. The coves are no place to play around in. They could be dangerous, so stay away. Why don't you go and see the newborn calves instead? <laughs> I still don't know how Jan did it. You know, after we dived in, I saw him back on the cliff, and then he disappeared again. He must have hidden behind a rock. I didn't. No? Then what did you do? Oh, I just used the pirate's path. The pirate's path? Yes. It was a secret way the pirates used to get down to the wrecked ships to plunder them. You see those rocks down by the Tremenning coast? Couldn't miss them. That's where the pirates came to wreck ships. How? Back up the coast was a lighthouse to keep the ships that sailed around here off the rocks. If they followed that light, they were safe. But on stormy nights, the pirates had set another light further down the coast. The captains would get confused, and sometimes their ships would run onto the rocks. That's terrible. What sort of a person would do that? My great granddad, for one. Your grandfather? How was he mixed up? <laughs> he was the pirate that set the false light burning but there was only one place from where you could see it. Out at sea. He had to be careful to make sure it couldn't be seen by anyone inland. How do you know all this? My great-granddad told me before he died. You know, there must have been sailing ships in those days. It would be fantastic to have lived then. Yes, but it's still very dangerous. Because on dark and stormy nights, the pirate's light still flashes. Impossible. Oh, no, it isn't. The pirate's light is flashing again. I know, because I've seen it. <laughs> What a boring holiday. I wonder where the boys are. Never mind them. <laughs> I do believe. What's all this then? Oh, Jack, what a welcome. How do you do? Most folks call me the gov. I am the owner and manager of the Barnes. But we are on our way to an engagement down at the coast. But thought we might step up here to bring pleasure and entertainment to your little community. I don't think we want any. <laughs> Go, go, go. Uh, that uh, engine's out. <coughs> to give pleasure and entertainment to your little community in exchange for a night's facilities for our strolling players, if you would be so kind. Not today, thank you. Oh, uh, of course you can. It will be a pleasure to have you and to see a show. The neighbours will come from miles around. Thank you, Ma. You will not regret it. And in repayment for your kindness, the first show will be free, as we are only here for one night. Look at all these costumes. Oh, isn't he sweet? I wonder what his name is. That's Clopper. Clopper the Wonder Horse. Or well, part of him, anyway. And now it is time for Clopper's feed. How would you two like to earn a little money, eh? Oh, great! What do we do? Do you think Jan's just got a very good imagination? Well, I have heard of boats being wrecked along this coast. Yes, yeah, so have I, but a pirate's light. A bit strong, eh? I must admit, I thought he was a bit odd. Hmm. Fancy getting us drenched like that and then sitting through tea without even a word. Didn't he say he was sorry? What do you think about this pirate's light? 
I think we ought to go up there one night and check. Hey! Where have you been? I've got a fantastic story for you. Well, never mind that now. Here. Read all about it. Read all about it. What's going on? Oh, when we come back, we'll introduce you to Clopper. Who? Clopper! Clopper? Wait till you see what's inside the bus. Clopper! <laughs> hey! Leave the horse alone! alone. Leave it alone! Leave me frogs alone! No. Get out of here, Mitchell! Go on, get out of here! I'll get the gov after you! Go on, get! I say, kids! Kids! I say, kids! Kids! Look, look! I, I'm sorry about that misunderstanding. I've, uh, I've only just heard about it. Uh, he didn't mean to snap at you. He's, uh, he's sort of in charge of Clopper, do you see? Mr. Binks is he's kind of Clopper's best friend. But we weren't going to do him any harm. We were only looking at him. Yes, but it's more than his job's worth to get separated from Clopper. Otherwise, I might have his skin. <laughs> is, is he so valuable? Yes. Why all the fuss? Uh, well, you see, Clopper is the star of the show, and I want Mr. Binks to be with him at all times. Even during the show? Of course. He's Clopper's hind legs. It is almost show time. Where is Mr. Penrosslin? We'll find him for you, won't we, Dick? Come on. Yeah. later in the show. But now it is my great pleasure to present to you that virtuoso of the violin, Fred Stradivarius. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure... <laughs> I wonder where Mr. Penrosslum went. Straight to the food, I shouldn't wonder. And you're all invited, too. Right. The governor must be still in the barn. Here. 
Take this down to him, will you? Right. I'll come with you. Thanks. God? He's not here. He must be back in his caravan. Hey, look. It's all right. Mr. Binks is eating with the others. Mm. Do you want to be back or front? Front. Oh, here's a gun there. <laughs> oh, I've just sent some food out for you. Well, so very much. I'll just have a couple of bottles of hay. Oh! <laughs> you like lady, don't you? A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Two, 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 two. Dick? What? There's something up here. Oh, it's Binks' old cigarette packet. Mm. Yeah, what do we look like? How oh, should I know? Hey, Dick, someone's coming. Quick, get out of this thing. I can't. Oh, what's happened to Clopper? It's not him, it's us. Can you help us get up? Come on. Oh, oh stop, stop talking here. about. No. Oh, very Come on, Jim. What's it feel like in there? Very hot. I must say. Can you help us get out? The zip's stuck. Yeah. Come on, get oh, get have a ride. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Quick! The gun's coming. Oh, no, the gun's coming. Pleasure to sit down and have a little light refreshment. Oh, you've got to get out of this thing. Oh, the zip stuck. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Joe, that's going to be a little lively, isn't it? Oh, <coughs> good heavens. That's a strange thing. Let's get it off before the dog lets me. Hurry! But he won't see. Uh, we'll have to risk it. Timmy! Come on. It's a most extraordinary thing. I suppose that incompetent nincompoop Binks has been allowing the kids to muck around with the props. Can't be having that, you know. None of that equipment's extremely valuable. So his lips move. You shouldn't have been messing about with him anyway. Hey, I wonder what that is over there. It's the light. What? The pirate's light. Come on. What? Come on, we'll all fan out. I'll go this way. Come on, Tim. Go on, see what you can find to me. Go on, see what you can find me. Gotcha! Timmy! Help! <laughs> Thank you. 
funny going on. There's that light again. It's coming from those dunes. What should we do? Let's go back. Well, we've come this far. I'm going to see what it is. Yes, come on. Nor do I. Oh, I'm frightened. Been empty for years. We'll soon find out. Come on, and let's stick together. anything up here. The water's happening. It's hot. I'm going to have a look out of the window. It must be the lamp we saw flashing. We better stick together. There might be someone around. A boat? At this time of night? Odd. Do you think there's been a wreck? Thank you. 